Ah, yo dudes, uh, welcome to my world. Jody's world. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I'm gonna, I'm forgetting to drink water. I'm like going, man, what is so wrong with my skin? I've got, I really have very nice skin. And lately it's just been like weird. And I'm like, what is wrong with my skin? I'm like, oh, like what is wrong? Why is my pee like fucking bright orange? Like I've been taking vitamin B, B complex, but I haven't been taking vitamin B complex. I'm like, oh shit, you guys drinking that water? Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. So I've got me some Trader Joe's sparkling water. I'm up kind of, <coughs> excuse me, kind of early today because I just went through the inspection on my apartment, had four women, no, four women, sorry, three women and one guy, sorry, Carlosa, come in and inspect the water, the appliances, the fire alarms, the electricity, um, I think that's it. They were here for about five minutes, but I worked for a week preparing for this because I, I love that my landlord, Ilsia, put a notice on everyone's door a week before the inspection instead of 24 hours, which nobody has time for anything on that. In 24 hours, you can't even get your floor mopped, you know? But <coughs> but I was able to clean the whole house and get it all really top notch. I'll show you guys in a minute. And uh, so they were here for about five minutes, and I, besides one of the burners on my stove that's been malfunctioning for at least a year and I keep submitting it and I keep trying to remember to fix it and then forgetting um everything was passed with flying colors so I'm really really glad because I gotta tell you I couldn't cram another thing in this house okay I probably could I probably could put it up put some stuff up on that fridge and right back here and over there I, I you know I have a talent I'm not good at organization, even though this house is very organized. It has to be to have all this much shit in it. And it's still not organized enough because, you know, I still am misplacing things and have a hard time finding stuff sometimes. But, but it's still very organized, but I wouldn't call myself a natural organizer. I don't think anyone would call me that. But what I would call myself is somebody who can cram a bunch of shit into a small, small space. So, if anyone out there needs me to cram a bunch of shit into a small space for them, in Santa Fe, that comes in handy, man. Then I'm your girl. So, $100 an hour. And you kind of let me have to let me do it and trust me or else fuck it because you got to trust me. And one of the things that I w became super territorial about this house with Darren, I would be like, no, I don't want it that way. I want it fucking this way and I'm going to win on this. I want it my way. And I'd have to wrestle him on it and then he would end up and the reason that he would get so territorial and possessive about it himself is because he had to do a ton of work, right? I'd be like, move the refrigerator over there, move the big cabinet over there, move the, stack this up on there. You know, he had to do a lot of the muscle. Trust me, I fucking worked my ass off on this house for years. And I should, you know, I like to. I think uh, I tell the universe, I like working on my house, so the universe makes sure I end up ha end up having to fucking do it. 
even when I don't want to. In the middle of the night, up, you know, the scrubbing, I got up early and did a whole bathtub full of laundry so that it would be done before the inspectors got here. And it was done. <coughs> Still getting over this sinus issue. I'm fucking tired of it. But it's it's you know it it hasn't been horrible. It's just been where it had to be addressed. Just right on the line where if it was just a little bit better, I wouldn't have to take antibiotics. But it was a little bit you know where it was just problematic enough that it had to be addressed and. I'm still taking antibiotics and I go to the doctor today <coughs> and Dobby's taking them with me and it's, you know, I have a thing that I am very, very opposed to taking antibiotics unless I need them. Once I need them, then I have to do it, you know, because they're not good for our systems. We all know that now. When I was a kid, they put pumps in. And, they, they literally had given me a jar, a big old fucking jar of antibiotics that I was supposed to take one every day for years. That's because I had rheumatic fever and I had hepatitis A, I think A, whatever kind goes away. I caught hepatitis for several months and was in the hospital for nearly a month and <clears throat> then that turned into rheumatic fever and I had that for several years from for like five years and then that turned into chronic fatigue syndrome for decades so I'm doing all right I was watching this deal on Bruce Lee, and wow, I mean, we all know wow about about Bruce Lee, but one of the things that they said, which was like, at some, at one point he was frustrated with his training and decided he had to get very, very serious about building up his strength and building up his flexibility, and then he did. I'm like... That's what I want to do. Get very, very serious about my physical fitness and really, really, really get fit. Jeff is a physical trainer and he loves uh, Bruce Lee. And I've tried to get Jeff to help me do physical training, but it would be for free, you know? And it's like, yeah, that's a nice idea, but I'm a, an actual licensed physical, uh, physical therapist, uh, whatever, trainer, uh, physical trainer, and, and I deserve to be paid for my work, which is true. <coughs> so I'm going to have to, um, just physically train myself. I have to teach myself everything online. And the thing about it, and I love that I can teach myself things online. The problem with teaching yourself something online or in, well, however, is that you, you can have massive gaps in your knowledge and not know it. Or even know it, but not know what they are and know how to address it. So I'm really, really grateful when they came in. I told them, welcome to my art studio and my film studio and where I do all this creative stuff. And it seemed to go in one ear and out the other, but some part of them registered it because there's all the art supplies and paintings and, 
you know, it's, hey, this is Santa Fe. Every single apartment should be equipped with a studio or some sort of a studio. Doesn't have to be a painting studio, but it should be a painting studio. Like, be able to be a painting studio, like with concrete floors or something like that. Like a room that's a studio on the apartment or house or whatever, because this is an art town. People are coming here as artists. But uh, uh, my neighbor and I were kind of complaining about certain things, especially, you know, kind of like seedy neighbors, one seedy neighbor, uh, very fucking seedy neighbor. And we were kind of complaining about it. And then I realized, wait, I love my apartment. I love my apartment. That doesn't mean I want to stay here forever. But boy, do I love my apartment. I work hard on this apartment. This part apartment has my signature on it. And every, every single inch of it has my signature on it. So I'm going to show you in more detail. So this is inspection day 2024. Ow. See the eggshells in the plants? The eggshells are excellent for your, excellent compost for your plants. And of course, so is coffee. There's a bunch of coffee down here. I'll be moving these back. It's really cold out here. So I'm gonna transplant that one into that. Mm -hmm. And th this is furniture I'm going to sell. <clears throat> this is my air conditioner that I didn't have to use at all this summer. It was a really mild summer. I need to dust that mirror I just saw. Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna change clothes so <clears throat> that I can, here's my clean laundry. I just need to rinse it some more and hang it up. And this is the laundry I need to wash, so. I'm making progress, I've, lo I've <coughs> washed a ton of laundry lately.
This is all Darren stuff and some giveaway stuff. <sighs> Those plants, some of them will be moved back in here to hang from that bar and set there and set there. Art studio stuff, paintings, clothes. I got to be honest, I like my stuff. I'm not a minimalist, and I'm never going to be one. I love minimalism. I love to look at it, but I, I'm cottage core is what I've decided. And I love cottage core. I was telling Bo, my son, <clears throat> that my house is that I figured out my house is cottage core. And he's like, "Oh, I love cottage core." <laughs> So, there's, it's so full of life. That's what I love. My house is a living organism. It's full of life. It's almost like the floor could be a dirt floor with plants growing up out of it, you know? That would be the next step on this house, on this apartment. Just back up, back up some backhoe and uh, whatever you call it and, and dump a bunch of soil all over the floor and plant it with grass and, you know, then try to keep that alive without any sun. So, anyway, yeah, this is what I've got going on. My bathroom could so much be improved. Like, I need to hang some stuff up there. But, uh, you know, everything could be improved. And that's what I'm always working on is improving it, finding the next way to make it a little more fun, a little more... Um, interesting. Yes, clean. Yes, organized if possible. But, uh, but also, you know, that, that right there, that place in the bathroom is so, it's like a place where I could be hanging all these paintings. I could hang, hang two or three paintings in there. Do you need outside, baby? Yes, Because this summer, I, every summer I work my ass off walking, jogging, exercising, stretching, doing what I can to get as strong as I can going into the winter. And this summer has been, you know, the end of my, mar my last marriage. I'm in a marriage to Sean right now. I hope I will be forever. But, uh, but the end of that marriage, that relationship with Darren. And then I did go through a bunch of grief loss with Sean, thought, thinking that that relationship was over and I was really suffering, grieving Sean and then grieving the end of my marriage and going, what the fuck, and suffering and couldn't get out of bed and couldn't exercise, couldn't walk the dog. If I was trying to walk the damn dog, it was going insane and I was just like, I can't do this, you know, so, and I, I knew I was really, really angry and that I didn't even want to walk outside because I could yell at well-deserved neighbors, neighbors who well deserve my rage. And I did that at one point. I lost it on a neighbor and I'm like, I fucking hate going outside because even though they deserve it, I don't want to be the one fucking yelling at them. I don't need that. I don't need that. It's not good for my work, you know, for my, for my um, mental health at that moment, you know. Yeah, I talk about it being refreshing to be able to go out and scream at somebody. But 
also there's something to be said for having a choice about it and i i wasn't having a choice i was like i'm, I'm not screaming at anybody who does me just slightly wrong and then of course they do their dogs go crazy and my dogs go crazy and i'm fucking cursing at the neighbor and stuff like that and i was just not i was too raw and wounded to want to be out in the world fighting anybody so I just started going, fuck it. We're not walking, dudes. We're closing the door. We're closing the curtains and hiding in here. And I did that most of the summer. Um, and then somewhere, well, whenever Sean came back to me, and then things got a hell of a lot better for me, you know. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, go potty. So I started being a lot. I started coming out of that grief loss because hey, I'm, I'm my man, I'm. Uh, he came back. I mean, yeah, I, I blocked him out and shit, but he came back. Let's just say he came back uh, begging for, uh, you know, to be back with me, and I said, yeah, yeah, you don't have to ask me twice. Okay, dudes, I'm going to change clothes into some painted clothes. And I go to the doctor at 1, and it's 9.39. And I better get there early. Yesterday, I was damn near half an hour late to my therapy appointment. My therapist was great, but I only had like 20 minutes with her because it's 50 minutes long. And that was my fault. But what is wrong with me where I'm going to get into places a half an hour late? I'll tell you what was wrong. I went to the welfare office and they, I had to fill, I got to fill out a really, 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 really long uh, application for welfare. And it took way longer than I thought. Even though there were only a few people in there, the application process was really, 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 really long. So it put me behind. The girls haven't eaten, and I ate a moon pie, and it was the last moon pie, and it's probably best for the best that they're gone. Uh, you know, sometimes a moon pie just hits the spot, and then after a certain point, it's like, Ugh, moon pie. <laughs> a Luna pie. You bet you're gonna. <laughs> a Luna pie, that's why I brought them to you, and now you're complaining. <laughs> The too sweet or something. Yeah, so are you. Well, I knew that. Changing the clothes real quick.
now I was stretching. I finally broke through on being able to touch my toes. Now I'm gonna have to re-stretch and be able to do that again because I think I got taller when I'll be on my way into the hospital. And even when I was there, this lady says, you must be 6'4". <laughs> I'm not 6'4", but she thought I was 6'4". I got taller. She didn't disagree. She didn't say, no, you didn't. Are you fucking crazy? No, she was like, you, you're really tall. So I actually don't know how tall I am because I haven't measured myself. These are way too big for me, but I'm going to wear them so I can paint on them. What the fuck is this? Oh, good. Okay, some Lane Crinkle Light cards. And a piece of something. And uh, something. Cool, cool. Okay, I wore these to Bible Spaces, and one of my friends gave me a card. Oh, like I have time to spend time with friends. I do. I just, you know, like uh, getting the house in order will help me be a lot more organized. Not like neat, neat, N-E-A-T, neat about my creative work and maybe make it easier to keep it clean while I'm being creative. Quit. What's up? Quit. Don't be doing that. That's just your sister out there, dude. I know. With this other outfit. With my sister. I don't think so. So I can walk about. No, you can't. I don't want you doing that. Like right now, the cat meows, and I, like, I, I had to lock her in the bedroom. I just like, I've got this rage going on. It's grief loss, yes, trauma shit, but it's fucking legit shit. And I just cannot stand the dogs to bark, and I cannot stand the cat to meow. Like the cat meowing just makes me, like, I'll just scream. Just start, ah! It's not triggering PTSD, it's triggering rage. Like, fucking shut up, cat. She's fucking brilliant. She's fucking smarter than most of the people in the world. And she knows what she's doing, and that's what makes me maddest at her. And, you know, Darren used to say, she knows what she's doing, she's doing it on purpose. And I say, please realize She's a cat, and she doesn't know what she's doing. That fucking bitch knows what she's doing. She's fucking doing it on purpose. And I'm glad I told him that it wasn't that way because it kept him from getting mad at the cat. But now all I've got is me, 
you know, and I know she's fucking doing that shit on purpose. I don't have him to tell me or anybody else to say, hey, she's stupid, really. She's not a, a the genius. She's listening right now. Going, ha, 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 ha. She's not an evil genius, she's just a cat who's dumb. That fucking cat is not dumb. She is anything but stupid. She's a fucking genius cat and super fucking manipulative bitch. Why? Because she has fun playing with people just like she plays with mice. Playing with the dog just like she plays with a mouse. Playing with uh, people like she's playing with a mouse. I'm the mouse. It fucking sucks. I, I'm going to do that with my fucking enemies. I'm going to use that cat's tactic. And and you can't win against that cat. You cannot fucking win. It's just not an option. That fucking cat will win every single time. Even if she's in that bedroom, she still won. Because she, she made you put her in the bedroom, you know. She fucking made you so damn mad that... That you had to do that. And then you had to fucking keep her trapped in there and all this shit and do all this extra out of the way shit to... Go out of your way to deal with this fucking These are way too big of pants for me, but that's good because I don't just want to be doing rock star pants for people who are my size, you know. These, this size is, I don't know what, is it, 14 maybe? way too big for me so I'll put this belt on it's very uh rapper because they're real low rider you can wear real low with your boxer shorts under it or nothing under it or whatever but I don't like wrestling my pants all day so this belt is so cool. Shit, who called? Is that a cool belt? That belt, I was wanting a belt that, I think I've talked about this on film actually. I'm gonna go deal with it. I'm rinsing the clothes. I was wanting a belt that reminded me of, like, a, a belt like the belts. My brothers are twins. And one time, I think it might have been after a death in the family, and my mom got a little bit of inheritance, or could be wrong about the timing, but for some reason she got enough money that we were able to do this mail order catalog the one and only time in our childhood and my brothers ordered these beautiful embroidered belts they were black and white and when i saw them i just like wanted them when i was a little kid don't remember what i got just remember what i wanted that my other siblings got and right now i remember those belts and I was thinking about it one day, man, I really want one of those damn belts because I never got one and I want one now. And then I found this in the trash and it's a really, really beautiful version of that belt, those belts. This is, color, you know, has color and embroidery and it's a beautiful belt. I just love it. And I'm working on these Rockstar jeans it's time to start filling in that's kind of the sketch outline for what i'm doing and now i have to go th get to go through and fill it in with lots of paint and color
dude, it's cold out there. It's 2024. It's October like 16th or something. And it's freaking cold out there right now. Dang. So, I'll be moving all those plants inside. Can you imagine? It's going to be right there at that door, but that back window. Where those drawers and boxes are. I'm going to move that. Move this off and use that and this and open that leaf. Take these off and maybe open this leaf. Pull it out a little bit and then fill fill that whole thing up with plants. Put plants in that window. Hang, I can do hanging plants and setting plants. And then the other window in the bedroom. Keep on drinking water. I've got to drink water. It's just, I know I've got to drink water. I've got water for myself and I got to fucking drink it. And I've also got a bunch of purified water in there for me to drink. I just wanted to say, I'm crazy in love with Sean Singer. Thank you for being my number one fan, sweet baby. Let's thank you for being anywhere in my life. We could only make a little love last night because he knew I had to get up to deal with this inspection. He told me, it was so loving of him. He said, take your Seroquel and get some sleep now. So, it's weird because my video uh, called Return of the King, about the time I was taking my Seroquel, that thing became public. I'm like, what happened? And what happened was, YouTube, if you do a premiere, a schedule something, you schedule the date, and then you schedule the time, but the default time is midnight, and I must have forgotten to schedule the time. So it became public at midnight, which was neat, because then I think Sean was watching that clip, Return of the King, at the same time I was, which happens a lot. We, we, do, we are very in sync. We are so in sync. And I've never known anything like it. It's very um, extreme and wonderful that I'll be watching a video at the same time he is. You know, I'll be like, oh, he's watching this right now. You know, and I don't know for sure that he was watching that last night at midnight. But there was somebody else watching it, I think, at the same time I was. I, I, could have been me. I, but anyway. I'm not sure he was, but uh, but I watched that video and then went to sleep. So, and I slept some. I probably didn't sleep enough, but he knows I, because I've told you all, I require tons of sleep, and he knows I'm a late sleeper. And he used to, you know, early on, wake me up in the morning because he's two hours ahead of me. So when he would be wake, waking up at 6, or he's an early bird, I think like 6, then that's, what, 4 for me? I think. And I'd be like, oh my god, I, I need more sleep. So now he like lets me sleep half the day before he wakes me up and stuff. And he'll just stay real, keep his energy real tucked in and and off of me to let me sleep. So, so sweet. Let me hang this up with you.
the inspectors were really nice. They were focused on what they were doing, but they were really nice. They didn't, they don't, they, even though I don't like the inspections and go, and I understand the reason for them, but I'm like, damn, come on, please. Such a disruption to my life, but it's just a disruption that says, now spend an intense amount of time focused on your house and get it really, really up to snuff and be prepared for whatever, whoever comes in and whatever their personality is like. But whenever they do come in, I'll be honest, they almost seem embarrassed about having to be in someone else's home. They, they're very kind of sheepish. Uh, there, there's an attitude of real respect that they're in your house, you know. They don't forget that they're in your house. And that's been my experience with the inspectors from the very, very beginning and all the different ones. And I appreciate that, that sense of, you know, I respect your space. We are, you know, we're outsiders coming into your home. But they still are coming in. You know, some people call it a home invasion. I'm like, yeah, I, I resonate with that. Not being totally respect, not being totally disrespectful to the inspectors, but hey, they're coming into my home and looking around and inspecting it. You know, and I've told you guys in the past the Life Link, um, and it's a different sort of inspection, but the, it was caseworkers coming in and inspecting and and coming into my home to support me and telling me what the fuck I got to do with my shit. I'm like, oh my God, I don't need a caseworker. This is bad. The caseworker's there to support us so that we can have good um, relationship with the landlord. And maybe that's what the, they were trying to do. But believe me, that did not feel respectful. That was a home invasion. And that was totally disrespectful, and I told them. I fucking told them. You know I did. So. Okay, dudes. Post Malone, yo. Post Malone. I am so loving that you're watching this show. So fucking encouraged by that. Thank you. I have this idea that you go and sit in some private space in your freaking mansion or one of your cars and you watch us on your phone and and like we're some secret secret indulgence and that's what we are okay catch y'all soon dudes back to work i go now i gotta drop some shit on facebook for you what the hell my hair has been fucking whack lately that's why i got all those um wigs I need them so I can fucking have tamed hair. But, uh, and it's not, I don't mind having my hair completely untamed, but it's got to be untamed in the way that, like, I want it. Not untamed in the way that, like, the cat is. Like, fuck, cat, be untamed all you want. But I respect that shit. But fucking mind, you know, me. Don't be fucking annoying the shit out of me. And that's what I say to my hair. Bye-bye. Hey, Venezuelan writers, love you.